So Leo and Maria are two Italians that are friends of my sister. Uh, I didn't even, didn't even know. And they basically made a medical center here. We just entered Kenya uh, last night. And uh, so we're just gonna have a quick tour. And here is Lucia. She's the daughter of Maria and Leo. Hi, Lucia. How are you? Good. Good. <laughs> Wanna show us around your beautiful... Oh, look at that. It's amazing what you're doing. This is the reception. The patients open the files here. Hmm? The pay here. Yeah. <coughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. This is the client room. This is where we take the pressure. Uh huh. The weight. <laughs> the height. The temperature. So the the first things, right? The first. Uh... Under five years, we take the kilo naked. Above five years, even if it's an adult, we try to take less. Less clothes on. Of course. It's amazing. Look at that. This is our injection room and dressing room. Beautiful. How many people do you work here? Eight. Are helping you? Eight people help you? Yes. This is one consultation this room is where the doctor one. visits. It's a doctor, he comes here. Yeah, beautiful. Look at that. This is our antenatal room. Also, the eye doctor visits here once a month. He's a volunteer from the government hospital. Okay. The gynecologist too. So every every time you have like every like say couple of days a week, you have the eye doctor. Eye doctor is once a month. Once a month. Okay. Uh, gynecologist is also once a month. <coughs> okay. The lady for the antenatal, the nurse, she's here every day. And all this is free for the people? No, they pay a small amount. They pay, they yeah. pay just a small amount? Yes. Great. And this is a dentistry, this I believe? Dentistry. Yes. I remember this in Mexico. Um, everything was brought by a group of dentists. From Italy or? Yes, they brought everything through container. But we have a dental, a dentist, a local dentist who comes on volunteer bus basis once a week. Once a week? Yes. Okay, From oh, beautiful. The From the government yes. still. Laboratory. Mm -hmm. Oh the wow. The patient sits here. Yeah. These are the tests we do, how much it is and how long it takes. Oh wow. So you do. We do the hemoglobin, brucella, uh, typhoid, diabetes, malaria for the stool, urine for the arthritis, syphilis, HIV, urine, ulcers. And you give the result right away, right at the spot. Depends. Like for culture, it takes three For days. culture, yes. yes. So it depends. This is the pharmacy. How do you get your medicines? How are they also donated, or no, do you buy, buy you them. buy them? You buy, buy them, them, and then okay. We buy them. We have over three hundred medicines between injections, syrups, and tablets. And you make your own as well, or? Uh, with the powder the and fiber everything? Fiber makes uh, the creams, creams and soaps okay. for the skin disease. For skin diseases, She's yeah. She's the one who makes. Okay. Well, you know, it's a family organization, this, right? It's yes. uh, It's your, your mom. Yes. Yourself. My mom, my dad. Your dad and yourself. Yes. So all these three little people are doing a, a big, huge difference here. Hey? This what is a the difference. 
It's amazing. And then every year we do this statistic. This is the one of 2010 and the other ones on the other side. From the first disease to the last one and from different uh, villages. I can believe uh, the three of you, the four of you, I mean, this is a family of four. Yes. You're making a big difference in the community here. We are trying to. You're not taking any holidays, I believe, eh? No. You're always here. Um, I don't like anybody entering my pharmacy. So, no. Ah, uh, that is. We really... also have the nutrition dog program for the malnourished. So for the, sorry? Malnourished. <coughs> malnourished? Ah, oh yes, of course. So we give them Uji, a porridge. Okay. Which basically has everything in it. And all they need is water and a bit of sugar. And this is all the food for the malnourished. Yes. If it's... Because this is one of your big calls right now, yes. right? Is to, to, yes. to, to look after the malnourished yes. uh, children. If it's moderate, we give this. If it is severe, we give porridge with a normal peanut butter. Oh, with yeah. peanut butter. But this one, it is made, it is a family business, so it has very little preservatives. Okay. Since the government does not give us the plum peanut, which is the one which we, we should be giving, at the end we give this and the porridge. That, that that makes uh, that makes a big difference because yes. it gives protein. Yes, and with that it gives much more. <coughs> Is there a big problem with malnourished children around? Yes, even adults. Even adults. Yes, a lot of adults. Because what do, what do they eat usually? Why are they so malnourished? Because they eat. Normally they eat um, ugali. Okay. And sukuma, very little vegetables, very little fruits. Okay. As because it is expensive. It is expensive. <coughs> I can show you the person in charge of the education. Okay. How are you? I'm fine. What are you doing? Change, uh, change this. Okay. All right. Yeah, this is a great spot to get organized and do whatever we need to be doing. Uh, you don't want to be stuck in the uh, middle of Kenya. So there's a car from Spain, another Swiss guy, guy from France. Yes, he's got some issues in his car. I mean the roads here are pretty tough, so of course your 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 cars or motorbikes and all that they they were getting a tow. Jungle Junction, Nairobi, Kenya, definitely a great spot to stay a couple of days and regroup and reorganize. Hello. I'm going to go to the 